Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope it reaches many people that resonate with this message. Please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. This is for all my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius, releasing all that negative energy, only accepting good, positive energy, period, on this beautiful, wonderful Friday. TGIF, y'all. Ah, so glad it's Friday. Let's see what energy we have here. We're going to start off with the Kipper deck. Let's see what y'all got going on. First thing out, good gentleman. Okay. First thing out is good gentleman. Let me adjust it so you can see it better, y'all. If I can. Okay. Okay. First thing out is good gentleman. So, okay. This there's somebody coming towards you that has tamed their ego that is really like they they understand how to have their masculine and feminine energy balanced. This person that's coming towards you, they have had some issues in the past where they had to work on themselves. And who hasn't? Who hasn't? Goodness gracious, y'all. Just keep on falling on the floor. Okay. Success and love. This person wants this to be a very successful situation, okay? We have five, which breaks down to change, right? It's a change. It's representative of change. So this person wants to change something. They want to change your love life. They want to change how you see love. They want to change how you have felt love in the past. And then right here, gaining a lot of money. And then this person is also gambling. Um, so they may feel like it's a gamble to come towards you, but one thing for certain, they know that <laughs> you're looking. Look at this right here. It looks like the devil, the red man, and then a rat right there. They know that like. It doesn't matter as far as, like, money is not the most important thing to you, okay? You're, you're not looking for any rap behavior. You're not looking for any lower vibrational things. Um, they know that they're going to have to come correct. What do we have next? Short illness. So there's something, like, and whenever I look at this, you know how people can just say I'm ill? I don't know if that's just... Something in the South. But anyway, some people can say I'm ill, and it doesn't mean they're sick. You can just say you're ill, and it means that you're tired. It means that you don't feel like dealing with it. It means that you, you really need some rest. So that's what I'm getting right here. And do you are a person that separates yourself from energy that does not connect with you correct, okay? So if somebody's coming in with some funky-ass energy, and it doesn't connect with you, you're not going to stay. You're not here for it. Rich girl. If I was a rich girl. Na, 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 so it, it's definitely like in the energy where this person put some respect on your name. It's definitely like in the energy where this person really respects you. There's a class about you um, that's not mistaken, right? You, you take care of yourself. You're, you're a person that looks good, smell good. You care about how you represent yourself. So whenever you step out, <laughs> and you you going to step out. Okay, period. Let's see what else we have. What is this that flipped over in here? Military person. This person's going to come with some type of structure. This also gives me um emperor vibes and we have 2/2 two, two here, so balance, okay? So this, this gives me stability. This person is going to come with stability. They're going to come and, you know, not play any games. Not not be there to play any games. Let's go ahead and put some tarot on it. If I can get these out, y'all. I'm going to have to take a little bit out of time. Knocking stuff over. All right. <laughs> what I always say, every time I do a Sagittarius reading, what comes out? And I just said balance. Confirmation right there. Cut the deck. First thing is first is um, balance. It's temperance. Them seeing you as this earth, as this earth angel. Them wanting to balance and equally yoked. Okay. 
All right, and this is the um, True Heart and Tarot, um, Intuitive Tarot deck. Huh? Cut the deck again. This is going to be a higher level of commitment. This is somebody that wants to commit. This is somebody that's not going to leave you wishing and hoping. This is somebody that's not going to leave you up in your head. This is somebody that is going to progress pretty fast. Like you meet each other, you get to know each other, and they're not going to waste no games. What do they say? By the first three months, um, they know. Like, you, you know if you want to be with somebody or not. It's not going to be no waiting years and be engaged for 10 and 20 years, no. And this is all because you started working on yourself, going off by yourself. Here we have the hermit, being very beautiful and doing that and just doing some soul searching. And realizing in this time, you, you have to do some things alone. Some people are always surrounded by people and they don't know how to be alone with themselves. And that's very important. What is this? Six of Wands. So you are winning. You're getting some type of public recognition. You're you're saving. Um, you're, you're getting treasures. You you are being surrounded with just life, and it's like you're being you're being watched. You're building. Look at that nest with the treasures. You're building something that's long lasting. This is after a five of cups situation, a situation with despair, a situation where you were in, um, you know, whatever situation, it was not a real relationship because it wasn't reciprocated, right? And you had to make a choice with that with the lovers. And this person wants to make a choice to come towards you and be correct with it. And the world, the world is yours, right? The world is yours. It, it's, it's yours to explore, it's yours to create your reality, it's yours to understand that you were put here for a reason and really live in your purpose. It's, it's yours to make changes. It's your, yours to make moves how you would like to make the moves. And I just see something very beautiful here. Three of this. This person wants to celebrate with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to have a friendship first. And they want to really be able to really get to know you on a deeper level. It's not no surface bullshit. Judgment. They know that you're going to be like have your boundaries up. They, and rightfully so, right? And they don't mind. They don't mind at all. Because they know that you're tired of struggling and balancing something. And, you know, something that was not, like, standing on that tightrope. You don't want to do that anymore. You don't want to wonder or hope. You want to know for sure, for sure. Okay? There have been some times where people have really done some dirty, nasty things for you, to you. And you, you're not here for it. We got the high priestess. So you're following your intuition. This person is following their intuition and they're gaining knowledge. They're gaining knowledge. That's absolutely beautiful. So like I've been getting new love for all my beautiful, wonderful Sagittarius a couple of times recently for those have, that have been working on themselves. So as you have gone into solitude, as you have began, and you know, not just began, as you have been working on yourself, a lot of great things are coming towards you because it's divine timing because you did the work, right? Let's go ahead and put some Love Angel Oracle deck on it. This person has romantic feelings about you. And they know that the feelings that they have are, are worth exploring. They know that the feelings that they have are worth... What what I say? Baby. Wedding. This um, situation involves marriage. Like like I said previously, that this is somebody that's... They, they're not going to leave you waiting. It's, it's, it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. And I'm not talking about like some love bomb and shit where it's quick and you don't know. It's on a deeper level because nobody's playing any games. So it, it's, it's not going to be any type of stagnation here because you both going to know what you want. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, you're, you're going to both work on it. You're going to both work on it. It's just not going to come from one side. It's going to come from both sides. And it's absolutely beautiful. You're going to be able to go on vacations together to get to know each other very much so better, right? And just disconnect. Like it's like phones off type of energy where you're just, you don't even want to look at your phone because you're you're so much like just focused on the love and this attraction baby it's going to be some some next level attraction you're both going to be very attracted to each other it doesn't matter if you have insecurities we all have insecurities right um so no matter what your insecurities even in your insecurities this person is going to find you beautiful or handsome vice versa period all right now all right this is absolutely beautiful like, it's, it's nobody like the one they got, period. All right, all right, all right.
don't forget to get your energy in and like, 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 like. I appreciate it. Comment. All of that good stuff. I appreciate all of your good energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, peace, love, and namaste.